I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 24th day of September, coming to you today from uh, the Weathermobile uh, outside in the great outdoors today. Thought I'd come experience this hot weather, but big changes are coming up. Let's uh, take a look with the Skycam Network. First off, coming from Montevallo, a few scattered cumulus clouds. Temperatures up in the low 90s in most spots. There's a look at downtown Fayette. Very similar sky there. And on the eastern side of the state, a look at Mount Chihaw. Elevation 2,407 feet. What a great place to be. And soon the leaves are really going to start to look good up there, we hope, in a few weeks. There's the uh, water vapor satellite shot. And again, we've got the ridge in place here. Nothing new. Cold front to the northwest. The westerlies are up north. Tropical action way down south. Temperatures, yes, very toasty again today. Readings are generally in the low 90s. Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden, 91. Those are at 2 o'clock. Tuscaloosa, 93. Cool spot, Alexander City at 88 degrees. And, yeah, we're pretty much the hot spot in the nation. Actually, it's hotter up around Washington, D.C. and Baltimore today. They're up the mid-90s up there. But look at the cool air flooding the upper Midwest Temperatures up there only in the 40s around Duluth and International Falls, Minnesota. And the cold front is well defined there from near Indianapolis down to about uh, Oklahoma City. We'll check the QPF chart. This is the overall rain for the next five days. And again, there's a pretty good gradient from west to east. The heavier rainfall totals near the Georgia border, the lighter totals near the Mississippi border. As the GFS is coming in a little more progressive with the upper trough, as you'll see. But we'll take whatever we can get. And the tropics are indeed active. Tropical Storm Lisa in the eastern Atlantic. Tropical Storm Matthew on the coast of Central America. And again, Lisa not going to bother anybody, at least around here. The system drifting north and no threat to land. Matthew, again, is on the coast of uh, northern Nicaragua and southern Honduras. The top winds estimated at 50 miles per hour. And the deal is the steering currents just collapse. And with that being the case, the models now want to just move this thing inland, and it just sits there. This could produce some catastrophic flooding for some of those countries. There's the intensity scheme, and of course, with the thing being over land, most models don't ramp it up, and they, they shouldn't. Uh, it's going to be a tropical depression just producing torrents of rain. And there's the official track coming from the Hurricane Center. The thing comes over uh, northern Honduras, southern Belize, up into Guatemala, then a northward curve up into Mexico by the middle of next week. And again, uh, that just spells all kind of trouble with major life-threatening flooding. And again, if the thing survives, it should pull northeast up toward southern Florida toward the end of next week with a trough developing over the east. We'll check the GFS. This is the 12Z run valid at uh, 1 o'clock tomorrow, 1 o'clock Saturday. At Big Vortmax coming down through Minnesota and Iowa, that's the one that should bring some pretty good rain in here on Sunday. And there's the surface chart. Got a cold front near the Alabama-Georgia or Alabama-Tennessee border, and that should bring a general increase in the number of scattered showers and storms tomorrow. Still, it's not going to rain all day, but it could rain in spots, no doubt about that. The high should be close to 90. Now, Sunday, there's the upper troughs digging into the west, and that should be our best rain day. Uh, the GFS looking pretty wet. Showers and thunderstorms are likely. The uh, GFS is printing a high of 82. The NAM is showing a high of only 80 on Sunday. And hopefully we will indeed pick up some pretty decent rain there. Monday of next week, the trough axis is right over us. And, uh, again, it's moving. And look at the surface. You can see how the uh, rain begins to taper off Monday as a dry slot works in here. So uh, it looks like Sunday and Sunday night could be the main window for rain with the showers ending on Monday. And Tuesday, we are totally in a dry slot. And what a great day that should be. The GFS is showing a high of 78. Doesn't that sound good? A morning low of 57. Wednesday, we're dry. Again, we'll be well down in the 50s Wednesday morning. Maybe some 40s for the cooler pockets. And Thursday, we stay dry. Here comes uh, what should be Matthew coming up over the western tip of Cuba. And a week from today, Matthew shows up there very close to Fort Myers, Florida. 992 millibars. And that thing could intensify rapidly because the water has been untouched and the upper winds seem favorable for rapid development. So we'll keep an eye on that. And then on Saturday, the 2nd of October, the thing comes up toward Tampa Bay and Orlando. And on the 3rd, look at the trough over the east. 
And down below that, uh, the model just kind of dissipates, really, Matthew. Again, whatever's there should be taken on out up the Atlantic coast, moving northeast, and a really nice cool air mass drops in here. And that might just get us down there in the uh, 40s with highs only in the 60s. Wouldn't that be good? Sounds just fantastic. On the 4th, we're dry, and on the 5th, same deal. Another tropical low shows up down there over the northwest Caribbean. There's going to be a lot of mischief going on down there. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 10th of October. That doesn't look too cool, does it? Westerly's got the really good Canadian air trapped up north, and down below that, we're dry. More tropical mischief down there. So uh, the GFS is trying to tell us it might be a very active month for the tropics around here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. My next video will be here by Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters will have the updates both tomorrow and Sunday. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see, all of the places close to me, they're all part of all the best things about home. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.